things are getting really expensive now in the market you go to the market today the price at which you bought a particular goods or commodity it's not the same price you will get it tomorrow the rate at which things are getting expensive is becoming really alarming especially foodstuffs and we cannot do without food we can't go without eating so you ask yourself how do people really cope how do people really manage themselves and that's why it's important that we really really plan out what we eat really 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 plan out what to put into our system and do not forget that you are what you eat very important in as much as foodstuffs are getting really expensive in the market people still need to eat and you are still what you eat <laughs>
then now you know the farm produce that are in season then the next thing for you to do is to plan out your recipes like write out your recipes you must know the kind of see if you want to cook a goosey soup there are diverse ways and means of cooking a goosey soup if for instance if you have bitter leaf tree in your compound let me just give this scenario if you have bitter leaf tree in your compound i want to prepare a goosey soup instead of you using uh ugu leaf where you can buy ugu leaf extra ugu leaf you can go in for bitter leaf you wash your bitter leaf and you use for your soup if you have ugu leaf in your compound there are some people that plant all of this and they are very very important if you if you can plant these things in your house so you use things that are way affordable or that are easy for you to get and cheaper for you to get as much as possible so instead of you to go in for what you have to buy if there is something you don't need to buy best go in for it okay so plan out your recipes don't just say i'm going to eat a goosey oh i'm going to do beans so there are different ways of doing beans you can you can just uh, boil your beans with your salt your maggi your onion and all of that and then eat it with stew if you have stew at home there are also recipes where you have to do the uh, beans like porridge do you get there are different recipes there are recipes where you have to put in yam there are recipes where you have to put in plantain there are recipes where you have to put in potato all of this depends so if potato is in season if potato is cheap instead of going in for yam that is expensive you can go in for potato putting potato into your beans boiling potatoes for your stew um um using uh, eating fried potato for breakfast you know you can you you can really make good use of those farm produce that are in season to plan out your recipes very well like diverse kind of recipes go online research don't stick don't be stuck to one particular recipe i'm stuck to one particular way of cooking there are different ways and means that you can cook and enjoy your meal and enjoy your meal trust me so go in for recipes that will help you work under your budget don't go out of your budget though. i'm begging you economy is hard <laughs> the economy is difficult it's touching everybody so in as much as we are praying to god for everything to be soft at our end we also need to do our own part we need to plan ahead okay now that you have um, mapped out your recipes you now have your timetable plan your timetable Everyone needs a timetable. See, timetable is going to save you a whole lot of stress. It's going to save you the stress of cooking every day. It's going to save you the stress of thinking of what to eat every day. It's going to save you money. Yes. Because if in your timetable, on Sunday, you are eating rice and stew, stew will still remain from what you ate on Sunday. So that's why you need to cook in bulk. Stew will still remain from what you ate on Sunday. On Tuesday, for instance, you can have another recipe that will uh, demand you to eat board, plantain, and stew. That's the stew that remained from on Sunday. Do you get So when you have a timetable, it will help you to plan out what you will eat very well. Like you don't have to go through the stress of thinking of what to eat on a daily basis okay so it's going to save you a whole lot of stress so please turn on your timetable it's very important this will help you to know what exactly you're going to the market to buy and the quantity of things you are buying okay so another thing that is very very important is that you need to always go to the market with a list and th these are things that you need to do in order for you to stay in budget you need to go to the market with a list. Anytime you're going to the market, you want to buy things, write out your list. Don't just go, oh, I want to cook a goosey, oh, I want to cook for it. Then you go there, you just be buying things on random. No, 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 no. You need to go with a list as much as possible. Put a price tag on each of those things you want to buy so you don't buy out of your budget. And when you go to the market, please, as much as possible, stick to your list. It's not that you've planned already on your recipes that you're going to prepare a goosey with um uh, with oziza leaf only for you to get to the market. You're buying a goosey with ugu leaf or you're buying a goosey with another thing. Or you've planned out the proteins that you put inside your goosey or the protein you put inside your stew only for you to get there. You want to buy uh, goat's meat. Then Tozo is looking at you. 
see they have fresh tozo like this is smiling at you and then you want to buy goat meat and also buy tozo you're running out of your budget already so please as much as possible stick to your list this will really help when you come back home you will be happy at yourself that you've been able to resist the pressure of see the market that sorry the pressure that is in the market eh, is something that i think is women that can really relate to this if you go to the market and you're not the kind of person that knows how to stick to your list you will end up buying things that you did not bargain for you come back with things you never bargain for because your money will get finished and you've not bought the things that make you go to the market so it's very important that you stick to your market list another important thing you need to do is that you have to buy foodstuffs in bulk as much as possible buy foodstuffs in bulk so maybe on a saturday a day that you are free you can decide go to a main market where you can get foodstuffs cheaper anywhere you can get things cheaper it is best for you to buy things there so if you can go to a main market where things are cheaper as much as possible go there buy things in bulk and come back cook in bulk when you buy things in bulk, you cook in bulk and you store, it will save you a whole lot of things. It will save you stress, it will save you time, it will save you money, which is very, very, very important. It's going to save you money. You might think that you're spending more because maybe if you're going to the market in, if you're going to the market to buy things in bulk, you might spend like 100,000 at once. But trust me, that 100,000 you're spending at once, it will carry you for a long, long, long period of time compared to you going to the market every day, then you go and buy a small palm oil tomorrow, you want, when you want to cook rice, you go and buy small tomatoes, 200 naira, 500 naira. The other day, when you want to go and prepare something, you go and buy another small portion of it. All of those things is just going to add up to you spending excessively. And right now, what we are talking about is we cutting down on costs like we need to because the economy is not smiling so as much as possible we need to cut down on costs and food is one thing that we cannot do without no matter how it is no matter how hard the economy gets one must eat and since one you can decide not to buy clothes you can decide not to buy shoes you can decide not to spend extravagantly on your hair you can decide not to go f uh, Go having fun and all of those things that are not really necessary but you cannot decide not to eat like for days you don't want to eat just because you don't want to eat no see hunger 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 will show you pepe so if you don't want hunger to show you pepe you need to now plan so that your money will not get finished and then hunger is looking at you you know that kind of thing hunger is smiling at you so in order for you to avoid that you have to plan anything you can do to cut down the cost you spend on food you do it and that is you buying foodstuffs in bulk and as much as possible going to places that you get your foodstuffs cheaper buy them at once and cook in bulk and store the last thing but not the least that i'm bringing on this table is this if you are a nine to five worker you are not at home in the afternoon you live very early like if you're living in lagos for instance you know that Lagosians leave the house very early as early as possible four o'clock five o'clock they are out of the house they are going to work right if you know you're that kind of person no matter where you're living in lagos abuja potan courts or anywhere you're living as long as you're a nine to five worker you have to plan for your lunch so instead of you buying your lunch from outside spending an extra money to buy lunch from outside you've cooked already it's already in your freezer it's all let, let, let me say you want to take rice that afternoon that afternoon for lunch in the morning or the previous night before you 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 sleep you walk you boil your rice keep them keep it in the fridge in the morning all you have to do is to warm your stew warm your rice put it in your food flask and go to work so in the afternoon you don't bother about going to spend an extra money to buy food out there you just have to eat what you brought from the house see Aside the fact that this will save you money, it's also going to help you health-wise. You don't know the things that those people put into their food. Those people that are selling food. See, right now, the way things are expensive in the market, I'm even worried about what the bars and the restaurants put into their meals. Because they're not going to consider your health. Their, your health is not their priority. And you can't afford to fall sick at this particular point in time. Trust me, health is wealth. So at this point in time, you can't afford to fall ill.
Because the money you're going to spend in the hospital, it is better you spend that money and eat good food than for you to spend that money in the hospital. Okay? So eat well. Know exactly what you're eating. Plan out healthy recipes. Simple. See, there are simple recipes will be coming on this channel. Food recipes will be coming on this channel. There are healthy food recipes that you can go in for. There are healthy uh, uh, um, food stuffs you can alternate from all those canned food and all of that. And you can get them cheaper if you go to markets that you know sell them cheaper. Okay. So if any anyhow you know you can get your food stuffs a bit cheaper. You do it. Even if you want to buy those things from the village, they should send you those foodstuffs from the village, like the leaves, like all of those things. If you have someone in the village that can send you those foodstuffs, you get it. So any way you can eat good and healthy at this particular point in time, it's very, 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 very important. I know sometimes you feel like, oh, if I buy food, it's cheaper. I just have to buy food, five, uh, 1,000. I'm not sure there's any food of 500 Naira now. There is no food of 500 Naira. If you want to eat good food and get satisfied, be looking at 1,000 plus, if not 2,000. Yes. So you, you, you end up spending more money. By the time you calculate the amount of money you spend on food on a daily basis, you end up spending more money than you cooking at home just make sure you pack your lunch very important pack your lunch that way you know what exactly you're eating and it will help you to save costs okay i hope all of these points that i've raised us really will really help us in one way or the other it will really help us to cut down on our expenses when it comes to food. It will help us to eat better. It will help us to budget more. And it will help us know how best we can budget for a meal. Okay? I hope this video was helpful. And please, if it was, let me know in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. See, your likes will help me to know that we like videos like this. And I'll bring more of it. Okay? So let me know the kind of things you would want to know. Or you want me to bring on this channel in the comment section don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video with your family friends and loved ones because trust me the economy is hard and we cannot keep quiet we can't just pretend as though we don't know what is happening we know what is happening we know exactly what is happening so we need to be wise with our spendings okay thank you so much for watching and until we meet next time do not forget to always smile because you're beautiful when you do Bye.